Welcome back. It's been a while. I keep saying that, but this time it's been even longer, I think. Uh, we're going to jump right into uh, where we left off, so looking at character matches. And if you're following along in Greece's book, this is on page 84. So since I've already been working on this, I'm going to clear my environment. And I think G-Sub uses this library, so I'm going to load that in as well. So the way that I'm going to start this off is the way that he does is using G sub, so actually substituting characters or numbers so that we can see what is being matched and what is being found. And later on we can just pull it out without actually substituting it. So the way that he is starting out is with a, a defined character class. And he uses the not to start off with, but I'm going to uh, start off with just plain defining the character class and then come back to not. Uh, so replacing with three, and then we'll give ourselves a little short number string. Make it compatible with Perl and Let's run it. So we defined our character class with the square brackets as uh, any number, 1 through 5. And any number, 1 through 5, would be replaced with 3. So if we look at this, 1 through 5 should be replaced with 3. We come down here, and that's what happened. So far, pretty simple. We've used the caret before to define uh, beginning of, or to identify beginning of line, but that was not used in the square bracket. So it uh, seems to have a different purpose or different use inside the square bracket. So inside the square bracket, it means not everything that came uh, comes after it. So everything that's not 1 through 5 will get replaced with 3. So in this case, 1 through 5 will stay, and everything else will be changed to 3, substituted for 3. So then we can come down here and look, 1 through 5 stays, everything else stays the same. So the reason that uh, I'm starting out with the numbers, and it might be the reason that he did too, is that there are predefined character classes, and one of those is for numbers. So when you use the predefined class, you don't need to use the square bracket. And the predefined class for numbers is backslash backslash D. So this one should replace everything that's a number with 3. So in this case, case everything here should be, be replaced. So it should be a string of 3s. We do this, and we see that. So if we want the opposite, there's two ways to do it. We could put it into square brackets, and it does the same thing. We can go ahead and run that just to see it. It does exactly the same thing when you put it in square brackets. Um, but we could say not, and in this case, it should change nothing because there's no uh, letters in there. We run it, and just to see that the really is changing uh, or looking for anything that's not a number. I'll put a, a letter in there and run it. Oops. What happened? Oh, it changed it here to three. Uh, so the predefined, oops. The predefined class, if you want to say not small letter D, is uppercase D. So if we run that, Oh, I hadn't put the A on there. So this one should change the letter to 3. Run it, and it did. So that seems to be the basics for character classes. And we'll look a little bit more at a text string so that we can see some of the, uh, some further ways to look at uh, and pull apart those character strings. So I'll use the same text character string that he defined earlier, and it was on page, I'm looking down, uh, page 78, 
that he defined this earlier. Uh, he did, this is a first example sentence, and then it uh, oops, all in quotations. This is a second example sentence. And I'm going to do a second one that includes numbers so that we can see how that works. I'll put a period in here just because. This is the first example sentence with one, oops, ones and zeros. And this is the second example sentence with twos and threes. And now we'll be able, I'll run both of those. And we'll go on to looking at uh, another predefined character class, which is the W, which is uppercase, lowercase letters, and numbers all together in the same character class. And that is backslash, backslash, uh, backslash, backslash W. And then obviously the opposite of that is capital W. And that includes, say, your tabs, your spaces, and everything. Uh, like that. So let's see how that would work with G sub. And we will do back, oops, when you put it in quotations. So we're going to substitute everything that is a word or letter. With I'm gonna get I'm gonna say three. He does uh, W R D, so it's like you're replacing uh, everything with a word, and I'll come back to that. But I want us to be able to see it easily uh, replaced. And we will start off with let's do num text. We'll make it compatible with Perl. What did I do? Oh, I did a dash rather than an underscore. Now let's try it. So it replaced everything in there with a three, even our ones, two, zeros, ones, twos, and threes. Uh, if we want to see the opposite of that, it's a little hard to see on here the capital, but that's a capital right here. Let's run that. And we can see all the white spaces periods uh, are replaced. Oops. So here's where we'll look at how it could be useful, again, using the num text. Let's see. Oh, we can use the text one. If you're following along and you want to see what uh, he's doing, uh, what he does next is to look at it for words. So we do a small w and then plus. So the plus means one or more occurrence of whatever came right before it. So any letters or numbers that are right together replace with he does WRD, so replace it with word. Whenever I'm replacing something uh, with kind of a marker, I like to do brackets around it, so I'll go ahead and do that here. And he's doing it in text and Perl. Let's run that. And now we can see everything that was a word is replaced with word. We've still got our white spaces and periods in there. So the next thing that could be useful is say you want to put replace all your numbers with something to indicate that they were numbers. Like you didn't care what number they were, but you wanted to replace them with numbers. So I'm going to replace this with D. Now I'd have to think, well, what do I, do I want it to replace uh, several numbers together with just plain num? Um, I'm going to do num, that's why I say. Or do I want each individual number to be replaced? Uh, since maybe to be able to 
see that, I would need another example such as 333. Three, three. So this one would replace even the 333 three, three with just plain num. Let's say that's what I want to do. Oops, I need to do num text. Then we would see that everything that has a number is just plain replaced with num. Oh, I didn't re uh, run it again. So we have the extra little bit and it's replaced with num. If we didn't put the plus on there, then we would have num each time that 3 occur occurred. I'm going to try that just to make sure that it's doing what I think it's doing, and there we go. Suppose that we wanted to replace all the white spaces with, say, s for space. We could put this in here, and suppose we wanted any that were right next to each other, I'd go ahead and leave the plus on there, and I'll do an S. Let's run this. So then we've got all our white spaces marked. Uh, suppose for any reason we wanted something that were not white spaces X'd out. Uh, I probably would not want all the angle brackets on there because that would be too many of them. Maybe I just want to X them out for some reason. Oh, um, suppose I want everything that was not white spaces, then I would have to put not. Not didn't run this with the plus before, what if I take the plus off? Hmm, I'll have to look back and see why that isn't working, but actually the way that I had done it before was to do everything that was a word, or everything that was a uh, part of this character class, an X, and then that X'd everything out, and, and so that's what I had done. Okay, before we finish off, let's see if there's anything else as far as predefined character classes that would be useful. Uh, this is, I uh, ran this as a R markdown document. So this shows uh, 0 to 9 is D, that's the opposite of it. Uh, small w, that doesn't show it as a small w, that should be a small w. And then the opposite of it. S is white spaces, and then the opposite of it, tab, space, new line, carriage return, all of those are single backspace, or backslash. Uh, we haven't done word boundary, which is a zero width uh, position between a character and um, what everything that is not considered a character. So maybe we'll look at that now. Okay, I will try to make these last two pretty quick, but it seems like the last two things kind of tie together. It has to do with, let's see, oops, stop this. So between what is considered uh, the W character class and what is not part of the double uh, W character class, uh, there's a zero width boundary. So to start looking at that, I'm going to put, I'm going to substitute a break between what is and what isn't. Now the interesting thing about this is when you substitute it, is it uses up that word or the the letter and so the um, so the character s and the non character which is the space. Now the only way to not use that up is with that boundary, which is no width. So I'm going to replace that boundary with the break, ER for break, and there's a boundary before, a boundary after, then there's the space, then there's another boundary before, 
and another boundary after.